Emma, for second time, and I live in the city of Grand Rapids. I had the opportunity and the privilege to go to Chicago. And it's good news when you are seeing in the newspapers that possibly in Chicago, everybody's going to have a license. And when I was coming back, I crossed through Indiana, and then I saw this sign that said, Pure Michigan. And we have in our beautiful licenses a bridge. You know, and we need these licenses, and everybody is stressed to drive. But I want to tell you, when I go to the hospital to see people that are dying as a pastor, a spectrum, or seminarist, they will ask me, do you have an ID or you have a driver's license? For me to be able to go up to the floors, I need a driver's license. When I go to the bank, and I want to get my money, that they are working and you know making more money, they will say, can we see your driving license? So this document is needed for many, many things. In a sense, gives us a face. How can we be faceless? How can we live in this country that is such a beautiful country and we will say people that don't have a name and don't have a face? We receive a name and we have a face, this is just a document that will help us to move forward. I hope that Michigan, pure Michigan, eventually, through your help, that's what we are asking you, a resolution to join those states that will say, drive the license for all. We are close to Chicago. We are far away from Arizona in many ways, and I am glad that we are far from Arizona. I am glad that we are close to Chicago. And you know, history is telling us how many people have come and done great decisions. I was so pleased to, second point, pledge of allegiance. Justice for all. So I am asking you, do whatever you can, and you will remember not maybe in the present, but in the future, when we will say a resolution from the city, from the great city of Grand Rapids, driver license and ID for all.